Hi guys, welcome. It's Nikki Free. Happy Saturday. Um, I am coming on here to say that I am no longer supporting Jesse. I know I'm a little late and I know everyone pretty much said he was lying um, from the beginning, but I am a person that likes to hear all sides and I like to wait until kind of everything comes out. And also, <clears throat> as I said before, <coughs> excuse me, I was basing this on his track record and he doesn't have um, he didn't have a bad track record, so I just figured, you know, something was going to come out and save him. Well, you know, it didn't work out that way, but hey, I gave him the benefit of the doubt, and, you know, I will do that for, um, pretty much anyone. Now, <sighs> I get it. The story was so far-fetched. 2 a.m., sub below zero temperatures, going out to get Subway when you could have called Uber Eats or Postmates or what have you. Um, or you could have had an assistant to go out. I mean, all that stuff made sense to me, too. But, um, yeah, the whole MAGA country, Chicago, yeah, all of that, I get it. But, like I said, I just wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt just in case something was going to come out and just really shock us and, you know, be the smoking gun that cleared him. But I don't think that's going to happen. Um, today, it seems that Jesse has hired Michael Cohen's defense attorney. So a lot of people are saying, why would he hire a defense attorney if he is innocent? Like, isn't he the victim? Why would he need a defense attorney? So that was a huge red flag. Uh, the, the, the attorney that he hired is Michael Monaco. And so, you know, there you go. Jesse has hired a lawyer. Um... And this is a sign that he may be being charged for filing a fake police report, you know. And hey, I think with all of this um, national tragedy, all of this crap that he has put us through the last, what, couple of weeks, he needs to be charged, okay? Jesse, I am done. All right, so what I wanted to do, guys, just in case I wanted you haven't um, heard or about this, TMZ has actually um, just reported um, some news on Jesse, and I want to read this to you really quick. Um, it's exclusive details. Jesse Smollett reportedly paid brothers to attack, to stage attack. So when they say brothers, they're uh, speaking of the Nigerian, the two Nigerian brothers that were um, interest. They were um, they were uh, persons of interest in the case. Um, and I, I guess they were the two people that were walking that they thought were homeless people and they ended up getting cleared, um, free and clear. They're, they're, you know, they were persons of interest and they were charged, but now nothing, you know, they're free. Um, so after that, Jesse, um, according to TMZ, Jesse Smollett has turned from a presumed victim to suspect in the criminal investigation into the alleged rapist homophobic attack and sources say there is mounted evidence the two brothers who were arrested and subsequently um, released were acting at Jesse's behest and reportedly paid. Oh my God. Our sources say the brothers, both of whom worked on the Empire set, completely cooperated with Chicago cops during their interrogation over the last few days. One law enforcement source tells TMZ at least one of the brothers turned over his phone and there is a call between him and Jesse in the vicinity of the attack, but before it happened. CNN is reporting the brothers purchased what looks like the rope Jesse had around his neck at Chicago Ace Hardware Store. Oh, Jesse, it's over, baby. CNN is also citing law enforcement sources saying Jesse paid the brothers to orchestrate the phony assault. Various sources in Chicago PD have told TMZ almost from the beginning there was wide sentiment Jesse's versions of events were false despite the, partly, the party line that he was the victim of a crime. That doesn't make sense. Despite the party line that he was the victim of a crime. I'm not sure. Anyways, as we told you, the Nigerian brothers never fit the profile of Jesse's alleged attackers, even when they were arrested for battery. Not only are they not white, which contradicts Smollett's claims from the beginning, but Empire cast and crew tells, um, I'm sorry, crew sources tells us that they were very close to Jesse and 
They're pro-LGBTQ and anti-Trump too. Oh no, Jesse, it's getting worse and worse. You should have just came out and told the truth. Now it's just really bad, Jesse. Chicago PD released Abel and Ola late Friday night due to new evidence gathered from their interrogation and said they're no longer suspects. Of course they're not suspects. Jesse is freaking going down. And Jesse wasn't even smart enough to do this with people who wouldn't snitch on him. Oh my God, Jesse. All right. The brother's lawyer, Gloria Schmidt, says her clients were released based on key information they gave the cops. And they have told a story to they have and they have a story to tell when the time is right. So these brothers are gonna tell the story. Oh my gosh, the story is gonna be juicy. My goodness, Jesse, why? Like, why would he do this? Why? And that was the whole, that was everything from TMZ. But why would Jesse do this? Jesse has had a clean slate. I mean, are you this obsessed with Trump that you want to um, stage something to make it seem as if the Trump supporters are, you know, so bad that they are attacking black people in Chicago at 2 a.m. and that we have to, I don't know. My goodness, Jesse, do you know how horrible this is for people who are actual victims of hate crimes and racial crimes? Um, oh my gosh. Okay. Well, anyways, um, I don't know what to say about this, guys. Uh, this is terrible. Like, I am so shocked right now, and I feel like this is the dumbest thing that anyone's ever done. Like, there is no coming back from him. His career's over. He could be possibly facing jail time. He's lost all credibility. Who is going to be his fan? Like, really? I'm done. I don't even want to watch Empire. You know, I don't want to see him, you know, there is nothing he can say on this. How can he explain this? I mean, think about it. What could he what could he say? And also, I don't like the fact that we already have enough issues um, being people of color uh, with people not believing certain things, um, saying that we're always pulling the race card, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, he has just set us back. I mean, what the hell? Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, kudos to all of you who called it in the very beginning. So many of you called it in the very beginning that Jesse was full of shit. And yeah, I'm just one of those people that like to give certain people the benefit of the doubt. Um, I guess I need to stop being so nice. But um, yeah, Jesse is guilty, guilty, guilty. Oh, Jesse, why? Oh, Jesse, it's all crumbling right before our eyes. And, oh my gosh, I, I have no more words. I have no more words. Jesse, no one can protect you now, hon. How can he... What to say? All right, guys. Um... Before I go, I just want to say to you, thank you so much for watching my videos. Thank you for those of you who have subscribed to my channel. Please um, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm putting out videos. Also, I am an independent artist and I do have four books on Amazon. Um, you can check those out. Um, the, it, my books are under Nikki Free. And my latest book is called um, The Best Little Poetry Book in the World. And I will be putting um, another book out um, either later tonight or tomorrow. It should go out um, on Amazon. So yeah, go ahead and check out my books. I hope you enjoy them. And if you guys have any questions for me, I do have my email in my about um, tab. So uh, feel free to shoot me an email. Aside from that, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and good night.